what you need to do theoretically to convert an engine to run on alcohol. And basically, alcohol has oxygen in the molecule. There's an OH group in there, which hydrocarbons like gasoline don't have. So that oxygen is part of the reaction, and it, you know, that is the first thing that gets broken off and converted into carbon dioxide. So to convert an engine, you need to reduce the amount of air. Alcohol also is less energy dense than gasoline, so you need to increase the amount of fuel going in. So you change the air-fuel ratio. Um, so what I did is I pulled the float bowl off this carburetor. Um, and if you know how a carburetor works, it's, um, there's, like a, there's like a reservoir of fuel that stays at the same level. And then there's a pickup tube, um, which is just like a straw. If you've ever done that experiment where you put a straw in water and you blow over the top of it, that's exactly what a carburetor does. So by changing the level of where that fuel is, if you blow over the straw with the same amount of air, you can get more or less fuel. So what I did is I took this guy and I stuck it on the bottom of the carburetor and I filled it up with alcohol. And I started the engine, I pulled it over and I just changed the level of this until I found a level where it runs. Actually, let me back up because the first thing I did is I took a spray bottle and filled it with alcohol and I just started squirting it in there to add the extra fuel. So I filled this with alcohol, you know, let the carburetor be whatever it is. And then just to convince myself that it was possible, I took the spray bottle, I just started squirting extra fuel in there. In the air good. intake. In the air intake. Which means less air, more fuel. More, more fuel, exactly. And it ran <laughs> as long as I kept squirting the alcohol. So then I just had to figure out how to get it to do that on its own. So yeah, I took this, I stuck it on the carburetor, and I figured out that there was a level where it was getting enough fuel to run. Um, so then what I did is I just took the float valve and I made it heavier so that the level had to rise higher to get the float to the same place. Um, and that was just trial and error. I just kept adding little wire-like clips that I made. I just like bent wires around the float and just kept clipping them on there until um, until it ran, and then I just choked the air down with this um, modified WD-40 cap. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the modified WD-40 cap right there. Um, so it doesn't it doesn't start on alcohol because um, I think it's not um, it's not a fine enough mist to kind of get going. Alcohol is not as explosive as gasoline. So you really have to get like a fine mist. And the carburetor on lawnmowers is just, I, I don't think it's really sophisticated enough to atomize the way that you need to. So you have to give it a little fuel to start. A little, um, sorry, starter fluid um, to get it started. <laughs>